If one team's quietly snuck into the uh, into the rankings of top team fighters, it's for Fight Ministry Hull. Sam Wilkinson snuck some good fighters yeah. in lately into the UK team. <laughs> like you said, Joe Fields. Came out last time at Almighty youngster. 10. Throwing up fl flying triangles in his first fight. That's a confident young man. Took that down that night, and the rest is history. There he is at the big on the big stage now. But, uh, developing a lot of oh, oh, big right hand for Joe Fields and the head kick. Wow! The referee stopped it. And there's there's no arguments there. I was just going to say he's developing some great fighters, but when you get tagged like that, Joel Fields, nothing but impressive again. Fan of his, both guys. All business, both, like I said, both very, very capable fighters. I was just going to say, both have got good striking, but yeah. that's been evident in the last 10 seconds. Wow, coming out strong, yeah, the... Oh, if, nice. Big, big head kick from uh, Abdi there. If one team's quietly snuck into the uh, into the rankings of top team fighters, it's for Fight Ministry Hull. Sam Wilkinson snuck some good fighters yeah. in lately into the UK team. I, I don't, and now, they, like you say, they're starting to produce these guys that are coming through and... and uh, Abdi's looking for a he's, I was going to say, he's pretty deep as well, looking yeah, yeah. on this side. Goes down to the knees now, does Lucas France. When uh, when Lucas pops out, he's going to be in a good position to try and uh, pop, oh, just yeah. like that, to try and posture up. But Abdi immediately looking for a triangle. For some ground and pound as Lucas France gets himself stuck in a bit of a triangle pos uh, position here. He's got it in, just needs to get the arm across. Oh, well nice. out from Lucas. Now, I think it's a, a safe assumption to make that Abdi's dangerous off his back. Yeah, definitely. So I think Lucas is probably going to step off like he did and uh, prepare oh. the striking battles <laughs> in the card itself. Yeah, I agree with what you said at the beginning. Again, hunting the guillotine. Yeah. Sorry to cut yeah, you off you're, there. You're all good. The cage was the only thing keeping him up. Now, Abdi's doing the right thing, though, pushing his legs through and trying to... Oh, he's going to slip out, though, Lucas. If he pushes down on his chin just like that, wow. he's going to pop out. Lovely. No, I'd let him stand up again because at yeah. the moment he's uh, he's proving that he's back games. Nice uppercut there from Lucas France and these. Oh, oh good big. left hand from Abdi. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Oh, oh big, good, big, yeah. uh, big good. left hand to end the round there from Lucas, from Lucas France. Yeah. This is very high level fight yeah. from both lads. Good technical battle and again break off from Lucas. So good work. We are back in the centre of the cage and uh, oh, oh there was a time there. I weren't quite sure what happened. I was going to say Luke. Oh, there's a glove oh. malfunction. Switching nice. Between orthodox and south pods. I think there's a bit of blood in the mouth. A good right hand from Omar, just snapping the head back of Lucas. And again, Lucas do, can he to stay on his feet. We shall see. Oh, oh lovely big left hand. I was going to say, lovely right hand from Omar as well on the back of the left hand from Lucas. So tasty uh, exchanges in round number three. None of them are really throwing a lot. Of, oh, oh, good head kick. head kick. Yeah. I was just about to say, none of them are really throwing any single strikes. They're, uh, they're, they're very flowy with the combinations tonight. Big left hand once again. Oh, hey, good left hand! Oh! 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 Three massive left hands! Oh, no more from oh, back. back! Oh! Blood everywhere! Head kick from <coughs> Lucas France! Wow! We have got a fight and the O2 Academy has just come alive! Raises his hands and screams to the crowd. And again, I think, like, like we said on the uh, in the first fight, <laughs> sorry, it might have been the second fight. Yes, it was Big Rig versus Costin. It's all going to come down to that first round. I mean, I've judged thousands of fights. You've certainly judged fights yourself. Based on rule book, as I said, I would have scored that uh, to uh, Omar in the second round. Yeah. I think, and a lot of judges, as I've said this on many, many shows at the time, don't sleep on a judge's ability, or naivety, should I say, to score it to a fighter who finishes a round well. Yeah. So yeah. I think a lot of the judges, bear in mind there are only three, but I think at least two out of three of them will probably score that third round for Lucas. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. With a split decision, Yomina in the blue corner, Exactly, down the yeah. line between them, but as we were going to say for now, Adam Smith and Daniel Mins have a title to compete for. Adam Here. Smith is deep on this takedown, looking for it. He, he wants it on the floor, and he's got it.
for the uh, for the fire ministry man. So Yorkshire based over on the east side. If Looking to try and reverse the position, nice and does. Work, really good work there from Daniel Mins to get back to his feet. Two in the northeast, obviously yeah. Bishop Auckland and uh, Alex Hamlin's gym. Nice take down there from uh, Daniel Mins. And in the 145 pound division here at Almighty. With Daniel Mins on top, looking to uh, land some ground and pound. Adam Smith drives his way back to the cage. Picks his man up, gra cage grab there. Runs to his corner and slams him straight down on his hip. Beautiful Take work. That. Yeah. Is there ever a more English name than Adam Smith? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely uh, <laughs> Matt Hughes, Frank Trigg. Yeah, just about to say, Matt Hughes 101 right there. And, uh, at the moment, Min's just trying to use the cage to reverse the position and ride on cue. <laughs> Diff jab and then a right hand over the top from uh, Adam Smith there. Some very good striking from both guys tonight. Now pressed up against the cage in a similar situation to oh, the first round. Take takedown from Smith. Just uh, coming in around the leg of uh, Mins. Just getting the trip and now into side control. There's a cut just above the right eye of Mins. Good spot there, Chris. Uh, it's only small, but lovely nice reversal turn, again. Yeah. It's the second time. Very simple book and roll there. Not that bad at the moment. He's got top position Ooh. now. Range down a big right hand. And another. Picking his shots well. From and the top, the Daniel Mins. Oh, whoa, wow. Heavy, heavy shots. Don't know how long's left in this round. But if he's going to get it done, he needs to get it done now. Adam Smith not giving up. He's working to try and turn it to mount. Just hunting oh. that. Re oh, it's oh, in. There we go. It is under the chin. That's under the chin. He's, 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 he's not pushing up at the... He's going to tap. I'm going to say he isn't pushing. And he taps. He was Why didn't he... Ooh, I don't know. There, there was no trying to escape there. No, he didn't. He had his hands over it, but if he'd have pushed up... With how slippy they are and blood and everything else, yeah. they're probably and in the cage. George Staines from Fly Ministry in Hull in the black trunks, taking on Bartek Kapchik in the ball, uh, red trunks. Sorry. Momentarily, I will be the only voice down the line. My partner Connor Holiday just leaving us for a few moments. But that will not stop the action. We've got a. Uh, Staines desperately trying to pass the guard. Sort of head down, bull in a china shop kind of motion. I was going to say he lost the position as uh, as Kapchik managed to to get top position. But again, he, he slipped out of the back door, managed to get the takedown, and lands now half guard, looking to pass into Mount. Oh, and he, I was going to say he nearly did, but Barchik was uh, sorry, Kapchik was equal to it. Lovely reversal from Staines. But, uh, good knees to the thigh from Staines. He's going for the guillotine. He slipped it in as he gets the tap. What a beautiful... It was just the way he slipped his arm through. And once the uh, the supporting arm came in and the guillotine was locked, Kepchik visibly upset. Ladies and gentlemen, at a time of one minute, 34 seconds of the first round, Joe.